Hey guys, it's Danny. Now, I have been seeing papayas at every grocery store I go to, so I thought it was time for us to do a papaya 101. Now, if you guys like these 101 videos, do me a favor and take a second to give me a big thumbs up and like the video because that will help me to better know how I can best serve you. Papayas are a beautiful tropical fruit with a soft, buttery texture and a sweet, juicy flavor with this slight musky undertone. Now, the very first time I ever ate a papaya, that musky flavor took me a little bit by surprise, but I have really come to appreciate and love the taste. Now, papayas grow all year round, but they do peak at the beginning of summer and fall, which is why I've been seeing them at the grocery store lately. Now, there's different types of papaya varieties. There's red and there's green papayas, but the papaya that I have found to be most available and the one that I will be chatting about today is called the red papaya. Nutritionally speaking, papayas are loaded with antioxidants, high in fiber, rich in vitamins A, C, and K, plus they support the immune system, they're anti-inflammatory, and they have a digestive enzyme called papayan. So not only are they absolutely delicious, but they are also good for us. When you are shopping for a red papaya, you are gonna notice that they have a long spherical shape to them, and they can be anywhere from five to 20 inches long. Now when a papaya is ripe, the skin will turn from green to a yellowish orange color. It'll start to slowly take over your papaya and sometimes it even turns a little bit of a pinkish reddish hue. Now they do ripen at room temperature. So if you buy a green papaya, which is most often how you're gonna find them at the grocery store, all you have to do is leave them on the counter for a few days and you'll slowly start to see the outside of the skin color start to change to that yellow orange color and the texture will become a little bit more soft. Really what you're looking for as far as texture is similar to a ripe avocado. If you were to gently press it with your thumb, it would leave a slight indentation. Once you get your papaya home, if it is already ripe, you want to store it in the fridge because that slows down the ripening process and it won't go bad too quickly. If it's green and you need it to continue to ripe, you keep it in a cool dry place, AKA right on your counter. Once you're ready to work with your papaya, give it a rinse under some cold water just to make sure that you've cleaned off the skin. Then you're gonna lay it down on your cutting board, trim off the edges, and then gently cut it in half vertically right down the center. Now you're gonna see that the flesh of the papaya is this beautiful coral color. Sometimes it'll have hues of pink and yellow in it. It is just gorgeous. And in the center are these little black seeds and they kind of look like peppercorns. Now they have this gelatinous coating around the seed. So the little black seed is in the inside and it's 100% edible. It actually does have a peppery flavor. I've seen people use these to make salad dressings before, but I'm curious if you guys know of any other ways to use the seeds of a papaya. And if you do, let me know down in the comments below. But whether or not you plan to eat your seeds, you do need to take them out and they come out really easily. So just gonna grab a spoon and scoop them right out with any membrane that might be around them and then just set them aside. If you're gonna use them later, keep them. Otherwise, you can just toss them. Now, many people say a papaya is just not a papaya without fresh lime juice. They seem to be a perfect pair. So when you're ready to eat your papaya, give it a good fresh squish of lime juice over the top, grab your spoon, and you can just enjoy it as is. Although I will say, if you've never eaten a papaya before, you should take at least one bite without the lime just so you can get that real authentic papaya flavor. Now, if you wanted to cut your papaya into smaller pieces, you could treat it the same way you would treat a melon. Cut it into wedges and then use a paring knife to gently remove the skin from the flesh and then you can cut it however you want from here. Nice bite-sized chunks are delicious. Now, papayas love being paired with black pepper, citrus, ginger, avocado, and pretty much any other tropical fruit. They are great in salads, they're great in salsas, and if you come back in a couple of days, I'm gonna share with you one of my very favorite clean and delicious papaya recipes. As a matter of fact, one of my husband's favorite way to eat papaya is he cuts it into small chunks, puts it in a bowl, gives it a big fresh squish of lime juice, sometimes even just lemon juice, a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and a few dashes of cayenne. Mix that all together and you will have a really refreshing yet spicy and delicious papaya salad. 
So now I want to hear from you. What is your favorite way to eat a papaya? And if you've never bought a papaya before, do me a favor and when you buy your very first papaya, snap a picture and tag me on Instagram or on Snapchat because I believe that we need to be celebrating the little things in life and a very first papaya purchase is nothing to be overlooked. So send me that picture and tag me and I will send you like an emoji balloon or something so we can celebrate together. Okay guys, that's what I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching. I am Danny Spees. I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers! Now if you wanted to cut it into smaller pieces, like if you wanted to share, if you're a sharer, we don't share up in here. We don't share up in here. And pretty much any other tropical fruit. Stay right there. They're great in salads, they're great in salsas, and if you come back in a couple of days, mmm, delightful, delightful. Let's do it again. And three, two. Bang, we're getting papaya when this is over.